Welcome to Morea. These are my adventures in biology on the island of the yellow lizard. Sure, many tourists and nature lovers come to French Polynesia for the marine life and the white sandy beaches. But you know, there are a lot of very interesting tropical plant species as well. One of the highlights for me was a day we toured the island to observe the diversity of the flora. This is the vanilla! Wow! Vanilla is a vine, and the, the orchid is one of the biggest exports here in Tahiti. Are there any blooms? Yep. Oh, cool! Yep. These blooms will last only for like 10 hours. So what happens is when you're cultivating vanilla, you have to get in there with your pollinization, pollination, pollinization, with your pollination stick, because all cultivated vanilla is hand pollinated. There's a symbiotic bee that naturally pollinates it, but of course, when you're farming it, it's easier to just do it yourself. Yes? Uh, you have to wait three days, the flower is going to close. Yeah. And then uh, nine months after to get the beans. Nine because, months after that? Like, like just like humans. <laughs> and this is what we get nine months later. What we do here in Polynesia, yeah. we wait until the beans falls by himself on the ground and normally the ripe beans you pick them down from the ground not from the plant all the work you have to do when you start by growing the vanilla you have to wait for the beans uh, all that you wait almost three years before you start getting your money in your pocket that's why vanilla is very expensive moving along in the gardens we come across another familiar kitchen ingredient of course you see ginger in the grocery store you don't think about it what it looks like when it's growing somewhere naturally these leafy leafy plants but what of course what we love are the ginger roots and here is this delicious smelling little chunk right here the roots kind of come out of the ground and you can just simply pick them up and this is what we find in our grocery store oh it smells amazing time to grab a cold <laughs> drink you can tell that we were thirsty uh luana just basically put pineapple into this pulverizer and made us this massive glass of fresh pineapple juice we had all pineapple so it's where do pineapple. pineapples come from anyway let's go check that out Look, okay, can you see? There's... Oh, oh. <laughs> a bumpy 4x4 four four ride later, we meet up with Coco, a farmer whose livelihood is all about the pineapple. Two days a week, they come to cut down the pineapples. Monday and Tuesday. Lundi et mardi. Lundi et un peu plus, mercredi. Non, oh, okay. Trois jours. Trois Lundi, when mardi, there's mercredi. lots. Yeah, if there's, if there's lots, they'll come back on Wednesday. <laughs> and then the rest of the day of the week? Non, non. Non, je suis en train de replanter des nouvelles plantations. Ok, so they have to spend the rest of the week replanting. Coco makes quick work of a pineapple with his machete. And this is where I'm yet again reminded of how oh, awesome my job is. And apparently with the Tahitian pineapple, you can eat the entire thing. Yep. Uh, with the Hawaiian ones, you get that very, very bitter, very tough core. But with Tahitian ones, so they tell me, the core is very soft. So we're about to find out. This is like the world's best lollipop ever. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Here's the core. I'm gonna go in. Here I go. They weren't good. From pineapples, we're off to another fruit that's ripe for the picking. You can see the tree of the guava right there. Where, where, where? Oh! This is a Polynesian guava, and we're right in the season right now. When you swallow the seeds of the guava, it goes into your stomach and everything bad in your stomach will stick on the seeds. And then there you go to the toilet, cleans everything out. Huh, who knew? Well, I'm all about the snacking as we head to our final destination of the day. A local distillery that's making excellent use of all the wonderful tropical plants we've seen today. The vanilla, cocoa, banana, another cocoa, and pineapple. All I've got is shots of you drinking and eating today. Can your glasses? Oh, The life of a tropical biologist is mm -hmm. great. <laughs> you are good at what you do. <laughs> so you see, there's a lot of interesting biology in the plant life on a tropical island, and you're certainly never going to go hungry. Next time, we're back to the ocean, looking at a technology to rehabilitate coral reef ecosystems.